Hi everyone, uh, it's David here again. Um, I'd like to show you um, a nice neat trick with um, one of the cards from the Occasions Volume 2 disc called Your Chariot Awaits. As you can see I've pre-made the card uh, up to this point. I've added my reverse text and I've stuck on layer 2. So on layer 3 um, I'm going to introduce some acetate which I've cut um, to size. I'm going to use some double sided tape, just top and the bottom. I'm going to actually add this small panel of acetate, which uh, we sell on the website by the way, and double sided tape. And I'm going to stick it onto the reverse of the layer so that it covers the aperture or the hole. Okay, now that I've got this, um, I'd just like to point out that on the sheet that this was cut from, there are actually some extra balloons, uh, which are slightly bigger than the balloons that are on the main sheet. So I'm just going to put those to one side for a second, and I'm going to um, add this, this third layer um, with the acetate panel up against the crease, where I'm going to, again, as, as I've said before, just leave a slight gap up to the crease. So I've progressed on, I've added uh, the next layer, I'm on the final front layer now, just lining that up to the edge, so that I've got all the layers now shuttered across. So I've gone to the left hand side, I've peeled off all the backing of the double sided tape, and now I'll pull it across layer by layer, and you can see this on one of the other videos where I go into this in, in more detail. Again, I've pulled it up against the crease, just leaving a slight gap. That just allows the card to fold round the card that's been stuck down. So I progress forward, I've done the next layer, and now I'm doing the fourth layer. Just sticking it on there, and then I'm just going to finish off by pulling on the front. Okay, so that, that's made the card, as you can see. So I'll give it a squeeze on one side, give it a squeeze on the other side, being careful. And you can see how the acetate now has formed like an acetate window. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to take the balloons and I've put double sided pads behind them. And I'm going to take the balloons I'm going to push the card down, I'm going to mount the balloons, all the balloons in the background, onto the acetate. So when the card releases, as you can see, you get this effect of the balloons floating. Now you could, if you wanted, add some strings, maybe in very fine felt tip marker, but I just leave them as they are. So this is a neat trick with the acetate. Um, it will give the unusual effect of the balloons floating. I'll just add the caption and that's the card. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.